It's me, it's me, it's Driver 53. No, he scratched that. It's Farmer 53 today. We're playing Farming Simulator 19 on PS4. Oh man, slow it down. Oh man, so for those of you that don't know, I started playing Farming Simulator recently. And, uh, yeah, I decided I'm getting back into making content. And uh, I got a little story here that I'm going to do while I'm at it. Make it a little bit interesting. So, uh, background is sold all my stuff all my race cars everything in st louis i'm heading back to illinois uh this map here is central illinois it's called stone valley and um you know i grew up in illinois really really like the area not so much what's going on now but i really like the area it's beautiful here all time of year um it's humid in the summertime but man it's really really nice oh we're gonna get on the brakes and get oh I gotta keep stopping at all these stop signs. I'm not used to this in the racing world. But, um, so what I got is I got a phone call from my uncle. He's, uh, he wants to retire. He's going down to Florida. I know it's not the best place to be at right now, but he wants to be at the beach. He's going down there, and, you know, I, uh, I'm gonna take some time off and go work on the farm. Gonna go see if I can turn a little profit here and get back into racing. You know, uh, he made a pretty good pretty good living doing this he's just he's ready to be done so what we got up here is a wheat field and an alfalfa field from what he says so we're gonna make our way over here and uh, gonna see what's ready to harvest I don't know a whole lot about farming but he said even dummies could do it so I don't know if that was just him trying to convince me to do it or if uh, you know I could actually do it um, so we're gonna see what all we got he said he kind of left things in a mess. He wanted to get out quickly. He sold off a bunch of stuff. Left me with what he thought I would need. And so we're going to see what all he's got here. And, uh, you know, just make a plan and go from there. So, uh, hop out of the... <clears throat> hop out of my 7.3 awesome dually truck here. My dirt truck hauling rig. All right, so we're going to make our way over here. First off, let's see what's in the barn. Oh, he's got to start in the barn. Oh, man. we got a Case International 1660 Axial Flow. That is, it's it's big. But I saw some bigger ones on the way in. Um, you know, I'll, I'll tell you right now, this is a Case farm. They uh, Not everything's red, but it is Case. Um, they said they don't want any green or blue around these parts. So, uh got to figure out what that means first <laughs> oh man looks like we got another case over here a 7250 that one that one's probably gonna be able to haul a little bit of stuff for us looks like he left in a hurry left the door open holy cow so I did a little bit of research because I wanted to know what working with straw and alfalfa was and it looks like this is a tether over here and this is a big old mower long mower um, I think that's a plow. Yeah. Now, this is a baler, and it's got a a chute coming off the back. Maybe that goes up into a trailer. I'm not sure. And then this is a, da -da -da, maybe a cultivator. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So let's see. A nice little bucket there on that thing. I like the red. Let's see what we got out here. I jog over here a little bit. Uh, this would be a windrower. So this is once you... Uh, Mow it all down. You got to put it in rows to make it easy to collect. Oh, it looks like we got a bailing or uh, not a bailing, a collecting wagon. That's nice. I like the red. So it's going to be uh, bulk materials there. So once I start harvesting, this is what they say that you're going to put it into, and then we haul it over to your where you're selling it at, or into a bigger bigger container. But they use this one to get around the fields a little bit easier. And this looks like a bale trailer. Yep, uh, I believe that's what it is. I don't think there's an easy way to stack them unless you get somebody up in there. So let's see what we got over here. Oh, we got a nice little toolbox right there. Lizard. Alright, so it looks like we do have a couple trailers. Looks like they might connect. But I don't know if, uh, if I got anything to pull them with. I guess maybe the tractor. But I don't have a fifth wheel. Huh, that's going to be... That's going to be tricky. Alright, we'll get that figured out. Little box trailer here. Yeah. My uncle was a DJ, so uh, maybe that's where he stored all his stuff in. 
We see him he's going on there just stopping everything. Stopping farming, stopping DJing. And uh, even left a truck here. He's going down there and just going to live on the beach and not drive anywhere is what he said. Man, this is a sharp looking truck. Look at that. No rust. Nothing straight. It's even got some... I can hook the straps up in the back. All right. Let's take a look at the house here. Oh, man. Um, I see why you want to leave. That's going to take a little bit of work. I don't know if I'm up for that. I just want to... Oh, a little garage here. Oh, can you imagine playing some beer pong out here? Playing beer pong, looking at all that... Oh, look at that beautiful view. Got a grill. Got a nice table. A couple chairs. I saw something up here. Look at this. You walk out of your bedroom, and you got that awesome view right there every morning. Man, that's going to be beautiful. So we also said there was a little side house here. It's not attached. That if you had any workers, and they're working late, they could stay over here. Yeah, I could rent it out, too. We might be able to rent this thing out and make some money that way. And got a hayloft. So I can put stuff in, store it, bring it out. Now, he did say that the silos quit working on him. He uh, had all the stuff removed to put it in the ground, but he just wanted to keep the silos for decoration. Don't ask me why. He's a little bit of a strange creature. But he did say, real recently, he put in some of these uh, other silos. And these, you can call somebody and they'll come and fill them up for you. Now, there's a service here in town, that, or in the area, that does that. Looks like we got lime on it. Some, some fertilizer, maybe. And he said something about seeds, so when I was ready to plant, I'd be good. Yep, and seeds over there. So, all right, well, that looks like uh, that's everything. That's what we got. So let's uh, I'll pull up my phone here and see what all we got for, uh, you know, on the map. What all is actually mine? So if I look here, zoom in a little bit, and they say if you hit this button. There we go. So that's what's mine. So the field directly next to us. And the field way back uh, north, I guess. Yeah, that way. So, like, uh, the back side of the barn. All right, let's look at that. Well, actually, they say there's one more thing I could do. I could see what it is. So, we got wheat. And it looks like we got alfalfa. Yep, exactly what he said. All right, and then you come over. And this tab it tells you if it's ready to harvest yet. We are not. Okay. So, we're getting close. Looks like we're maybe really, really close on the alfalfa. So, that's going to take a mower. A baler. Ah, do we want to turn it to hay? No, Papa, hay. I mean, if we do, we got the tatter and the windrower. So, I mean, we'll, we'll figure out kind of what prices are doing right then. But, uh, you know, they also said there's quite a bit of, a lot of people in this area that have farms. You know, a lot of the farmhands are kind of staying away and taking it easy right now. Um, so there's a lot of work that needs to be done. They said they got a lot of guys putting up contracts so they post them here you know, I've got the link I'm going to it and just gonna see what all there is um, it looks like we got some fertilizing that's not bad harvesting and these guys apparently when you harvest something they give you another percentage of it right so if you get everything off the field they only want X percentage because that's all their contract is for so anything you get over that it's yours to keep so on these harvesting ones you can really make some really really good extra money so I'm probably going to try and, you know, pick those if I can. doesn't look like we have too many of them here, though. So I might I might want to do this. I don't know. I, I can't do much on my field, so I might as well go ahead and start making some extra cash on theirs because it's going to take me a bunch. I mean, it, this is a bunch of older equipment that I need to upgrade. If I'm going to make this profitable for myself, I'm going to need to do it quick, efficiently. And, uh, and yeah. So, and I don't know if I want to go ahead and jump straight into that. Let me see what my field needs, actually, really quickly. What do my fields need? So, this one here looks like it was just started. That's what that green means. And that one means it's ready. we got this green here in the middle. I'm wondering, is there like another, another green? Yeah, there we go. So, one, two, three, and four. So I'm in stage three right now, which means I shouldn't fertilize. Because I can crush the crops. So I'm going to have to wait on that, and I'll fertilize and everything. Maybe line it, plow it up whenever I uh, you know, get ready to reseed everything. So I might as well just go ahead and start uh, harvesting if I can, I guess. Yeah, let's look and see what these contracts are for. 
Yeah, because I only came over with about twenty-five thousand dollars. I had to get here. You know, I had a couple tires I had to replace before I left, so I had to do that. But let's see, we got harvesting barley, and if I use their equipment, they keep a little bit of the money, but I don't have to use mine, and I can do it a lot faster. I think field eighteen. See how big field eighteen is. Field eighteen. Oh, that's this one up here. Yeah, that's a nice little field. So, uh, you know, let's go ahead and, uh, let's take this job. Yeah. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to buy all the items. All right. You know, and the other thing they said that if, uh, you know, there are a couple people that they're not the best workers, but they kind of straggle around up there at the dealership. Uh, there is a case dealership here in town too. Um, but they, uh, they hang out up there and they say that if, uh, if you're willing to put somebody in your track that they're willing to do it, it may just not be the best job. So you may have to go back and kind of finish up after them, but I can at least get a, a worker going so maybe I can get multiple jobs going and then I can, uh, you know, make money even faster and be able to get this thing off the ground and get some good equipment in here and, and get moving. So uh, I think we're going to go ahead and head on up over, over there and I'm going to end this episode for today. And the next one that uh, you guys see is I'll be harvesting. So uh, thank you for joining me. And uh, you know, if you would, hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the videos. I got lots more I'm going to be doing. And uh, this is Driver53 signing off.